Hello folks and welcome back. On this episode we're going to cover low cost upgrades we've done to our Casita travel trailer. Some of these you've seen before but we've added some new ones here we thought you might like. First item we'll talk about is this fold down clothes hanger that rivets right to the wall. You see we just put it right there on the bathroom wall. You're going to have to do clothes if you're on a long uh, extended trip so we put this in so we've got a place to hang our clothes while they dry. Next item is towel bars here. The uh, trailer came with the top towel bar right here. We added the second one down here on the bottom. Uh, we know the trailers come now with hooks instead of these bars, but we're going to stay with the bars because they work better. Next item we added, we added the shoe hanger on the door here. Um, it, is, it comes in handy putting extra shoes. We left a little basket that uh, they installed from the factory on the bottom. Inside our closet here, we haven't done a whole lot. Uh, we do use it for hang-ups and down at the bottom we put a dirty clothes basket. Next item we uh, installed was the roll-up sink cover instead of using the cutting board that came with the trailer. We like this a lot better. Uh, you just roll it up out of the way. You don't have to worry about putting it anywhere else. And if somebody happens to bump the water when it's on, the water just goes straight through it. Next item is this document holder that we pop riveted to the side of the cabinet here. We put remotes in there, we put cables for charging our phones and everything in there, extra paperwork, basically just a neat place to store any little items that we have that we need easy access to. We took the wooden boxes we had down here out and we replaced them with these soft sided containers. Uh, they're a lot softer and easier on the trailer and these also have a rope handle which makes them easier to pull out over the uh, retaining bars that we have on the bottom and they're holding up a lot better than the wooden boxes that we had in there. The final change concerns the table here. The way we used to do it is the table would be sitting here and that's where we left it all the time. The problem is if you're watching TV, you go to set a drink over here, it's a good little reach because we sit with our backs up next to the uh, other end so we can watch TV. So uh, it also, the table sticks out so you gotta actually crawl underneath the table to get to these boxes down here. So here's how we fix that problem. What we did is we took the extra mount off of one of the other tables, we mounted it on this table down on this end, and we used the same screws, the same hardware that came with it. And once we've got it on there, anytime you put the table on it, we use the end one up down here, and we put that on the pole here. What that does is has the table stick out, which I'll show you just in a minute, which gives you plenty of room. But it's going to be unstable because it's only one end so what we did then is we went and bought a leg and the little mounts for the legs we ordered off of amazon and we put that on here so now when you put the table down you hook it on the pole the legs down you'll see that the table is very stable and gives you uh, easy access for when you're eating or you can use it for putting your drinks or whatever on when you're watching tv when we want to move it out of the way what we do is just lift the table up and we'll turn around and we'll just put the leg down there's a little lever down here you push it down and fold the leg down now you can see I did put a piece of velcro down there at the end to hold the leg up and not use and then we added this little short leg here that we flip up because we're going to turn the table one thing I forgot to tell you here is make sure you get these little felt pieces to put them on the bottom of your legs so the legs don't damage your floor but anyway uh, this short little leg is going to stabilize the table when we point it to the back. We're going to now just put the table back on the same way, pointing in the opposite direction. And the leg rests on the seat here, and you can see that the uh, easy access to the box is down below. Well, that concludes our low cost upgrades to our Casita travel trailer. We want to tell you we appreciate you watching and thank you for your support. If you have any questions, go ahead and drop us an email. And remember that there are links on our website to all of the items that we use in our trailer. We'll see you in the campground.